boom yo what's up y'all what's up what's up so what we're doing here is we are remember i told you guys i was gonna do a review on these here uh 511 atlas shoes and i dig the heck out of them now just so you guys know i got my nike air 270 air max 270s here you know what i'm saying because this is how i used to roll like all the time both shoes i really like uh, I dig the, the the Nike Air 270s because, you know, they're all black. I can wear them with some normal pants and I look like, they actually look like kind of dressy just because the shape uh, and the way they're put together. It's like, oh, it's like a clean black kind of shit. Like, you can kind of get away with it in a lot of, and this is a little belligerent. This is a little belligerent, you know, I mean, having a big thing. But it's like, you know, if you got, you got some nice sneakers on, okay? As long as you keep them clean, you can get away with them. Speaking of which, you probably should clean them a little bit. <laughs> Anyways, um... Nonetheless, this was my everyday shoe. Uh, very comfortable standing, moving around. Uh, really liked it. I was like, you know, I'll probably never go back to a tactical shoe um, ever again because Nike's work. And where do we spend most of our time? If you're at least doing executive protection like I'm doing it, you're on the streets, bro. Like you're on pavement, you're on asphalt, you're on like man-made surfaces. So like you don't need much more traction than this a good shoe that's designed to be on man-made surfaces. Um, theoretically, it's good, you know what I'm saying? Like, eh. So I was rocking these for a while, but then I started to notice like little disadvantages. So like when I am at a residence and I have to like go walk the fence line or, or, or I am working even at a facility and there's aspects of the facility or parts of the facility that are not pavement i was like oh i don't want to get my air maxes all dirty you know what i'm saying like i don't want to get my air maxes dirty you know I mean just one of them things you know because i got to keep them sassy you know uh and they're black so they get dirty really quick um wasn't really happy about that uh we had some cold days where legitimately and i hadn't experienced this since i was a little boy and you know it was a snow day and i didn't have the right shoes on but my toes were freezing okay and then for my foot shape, my, my toes were numb, like all day, like all day. Um, and then, so these aren't gonna, you know, insulate you. They're designed to really breathe and being really, really, um, you know, like man-made type environments, you know? So great shoe for a lot of things, but you gotta consider your climate, you gotta consider your environment and things like that. Um, nice and light, love that. Uh, so I started looking around like, yo, there's gotta be a tactical shoe that's gonna give me everything I need that I love about these, because this is far and removed from any tactical shoe, um, but also at the same time, doesn't look like a freaking, like I don't look like a tactard when I'm walking around with billionaires and stuff like that. Um, so a more rugged shoe, yeah, but it can't look like, you know, too rugged, okay? So uh, I ended up shopping around, hitting my boys at 5.11 up, and sure enough, blah, ow, son, boom, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I found these bad boys here, which soon replaced those. All right, so check it out. Like they were good, they were good. But as much as I thought I would, I never wear them anymore. <laughs> like I never wear them anymore, I never wear them anymore. Uh, it's a sexy looking shoe. And as you guys can see, I've worn this shoe. Um, I literally, these things are, I don't really want, so here's the thing, like these are flying off the shelves at 5'11". And uh, that troubles me because you guys are gonna start wearing them. And the next thing you know, everyone's gonna know it's a tactical shoe and then I'm not gonna be able to wear it anymore because it's gonna be like high profile tactical shoe. Uh, but 511 is the homie, so I'm doing this review, right? So uh, this shoe right here, this shoe right here, uh, it looks sexy from the top down. I don't know about you guys, but I'm big on how sexy my shoe looks from the top down. Uh, so the first thing I do when I get a shoe is I take it I look at it from the top down, like how does this affect my overall profile um, in terms of how I present fashion-wise and also geometrically. So uh, what are the shapes looking like on my overall body? Yeah, I consider all this stuff. I got five scissors, I was raised by one, which is just, you know, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Um, I like the shape of this. A lot of tactical shoes have like a really boxy look. I don't, I'm not down with the boxy look. I like this more streamlined, like athletic look. They actually have a tennis shoe version of this uh, shoe that also could be pretty cool. But when I first glanced at it, I don't know how I felt about that overhead look. So I went with these. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back and check it out because I've had such a good experience with these. 
Um, they don't really look that tactical. It looks kind of like a sneakery-ish hybrid when they're on. Like, oh, well, like what is that exactly? Um, so I really like that about them. They come with a hard insert uh, that you can keep in the shoe for more support when you're doing like trash up in the hills or anytime you're gonna be walking on anything where you're concerned about maybe like, I don't know, something penetrating your foot or you need more support because you're about to beat the brakes off your foot and you're going on a hike. Uh, that's what the, you know, uh, that's what that support system is for, but it's removable. So if you're just doing like friendly, domesticated uh, executive protection operations and you're in like, you know, you know, uh, nobility type spaces, uh, this shoe is awesome uh, in terms of weight. Not too much heavier than my uh, Nike Airs, man, but heavier. However, I do genuinely appreciate the tactical advantages of this boot or shoe, or whatever they want to call it, high top. Um, you don't get coverage from rain or water with this shoe. This shoe breathes, fit, breathes, breathes fantastically. Um, but that hasn't been an issue for me. And I've been out in the rain in these, I've walked through, you know, wet mulch and ground and ferns and, you know, all your kind of forestry type stuff in these. I've had no issue with them. Uh, as an agent though, I do suggest you get one pair for the range and get one pair for everyday life. Cause when you first buy them, they look real smooth. They look real slick. But then after you, you know, take them to the range a couple times, do some put rat trash in them, they start looking like, you know, work shoes. Um, so I'm gonna buy a second pair cause I like them so much just for when I'm doing, you know, clean stuff. You know, I'm just gonna be, you know, around, around clean people, right? Um, but this is by far my favorite shoe right now. Uh, one criticism was when I first got them, the shoelaces didn't seem to be long enough uh, to be able to tie them up good at the top. Uh, and I experienced that frustration for sure. But as you can see, the shoelaces, they like stretch out over time as you use them. So I have more than enough leeway now uh, to go on ahead and do that. A lot of support in the back for when you're sliding your foot in and out. I really, really dig that. And one of the other things I really like is, yo, this tread right here legitimately feels like you have a tire. Like you can feel yourself gripping uh, the earth, the ground, whatever you're walking on, you feel very supported. And you, as far as traction, you're just like, I am good. Like I walk around in these and I feel like my whole body is like stronger because I'm like, yo, that's what's up. I'm gripping the earth and I feel powerful wearing these, to be honest with you. Uh, you got some toe coverage and toe protection here in case you got to kick someone in the face. No, I'm just playing. Um, kind of. Uh, but you have that toe protection here, you know, which is nice. Uh, I like the arches. I like the nice kind of high arches. Um, and honestly, I have nothing negative to say about this shoe. Uh, at this point, I really, really like it. I am going, this is going to be my EDC, my everyday shoe, uh, as long as I can get away with it. Um, I've even changed my dress code a little bit. So like, you know, not the type of shoe to wear like a nice button down. Mm, you could, you can get away with like a nice button down in jeans, but it's not like a really nice, nice dress up shoe. You still need to go and get yourself some nice leather shoes for things like that. But everything in between, you can get away with these. And this is my absolute favorite. This is my absolute favorite everyday shoe right now. The 511 Atlas shoes, uh, boots whatever they want to call them are the business. So I just wanted to give that quick review after wearing these for a few months, as you can see, uh, they are hands down my favorite everyday shoe right now. So I wanted to bring that to you guys. Byron Rogers, protector by nature and by trade. Uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next video at the next protector symposium in the executive protection training day success package, where you can learn how to join the executive protection industry or all of it. Byron Rogers, protected by nature and by trade. Remember to be peaceful and not harmless. I'll see you on the next video. Out. Boom.